Hi guys and welcome to another vlog. I am at the high speed test track at Natrax with Volkswagen for a 24 hour endurance drive and I will be driving the Volkswagen Virtus. The 11.3 km long test track has been developed across 1000 acres. It has two semicircular curves that can test vehicles at a maximum neutral speed of 250 km per hour. The track can offer maximum speeds of 375 km per hour on the curves with steering control. When you talk about endurance tests, the very first thing that comes to your mind is obviously Le Mans. And this endurance test is also very Le Mans style, wherein we are doing pit stops of 55 seconds and tyre changes in under 3 minutes. But why do brands do endurance tests? Simply to show that their cars are capable of being driven to the maximum potential over a period of 24 hours straight, which is testing the engine, the chassis, everything of the car, including the tires. And while we are doing this endurance test, we are also attempting multiple national records. The flag off was scheduled at 2pm and there were two 1.5 Virtus GTs, one 1 litre manual Virtus and two 1 litre Tigans. While all the cars were driven at high speed, one of the Tigans was driven at 55 km per hour for 24 hours non-stop without refuelling. All drivers are driving these cars continuously. The only stop is for refueling when a driver change happens. So initially we were told that our stint will be for two and a half hours with the one litre Virtus. However, it turned out to be two hours because they had actually decided initially that they are going to do 160 km per hour average speed. We increased it a bit to 180 km per hour but now we have been told to just send it which means that a stint now lasts for around one hour 15 minutes to one hour 20 minutes. Crossing the pit lane right now, I have a distance to empty of 80 kilometers. Should I come in next lap? You will put in next lap. Noted, noted. It's 4.30 am in the morning and 14 and a half hours have been done. But we were running a bit behind schedule. 50 kilometers to be precise. But me and the other drivers who have been driving the Virtus 1 litre manual have managed to up our pace and cover that lag. The car is absolutely fantastic, great high speed stability and amazing performance too. But because we have upped our pace, fuel consumption has also increased slightly. Which means that I might have to go for one more stint. My first stint was at 6.20pm which lasted for around 2 hours and that meant the second stint time was adjusted to be a bit earlier than scheduled. The car had done 4 hours 20 minutes when I got in for the first time and it would run around 15 hours when I get into it for the second time. Initially I thought, how hard can it be? All I have to do is drive in a straight line at full speed considering the banking is so nicely done that I don't even have to make any correction on the steering wheel. I thought it would be a cakewalk for me. However, two of my stints turned out to be in pitch dark which meant I had a couple of challenges. First the visibility. It is pitch dark and you lose the sense of the outer world because there are no other vehicles on the track apart from the four other VW cars. And secondly, the road can play with your mind sometimes as you're doing high speeds on a straight road with not much to do. There are multiple cars running on the track including a couple of Tigans and a couple of Virtuses as well, the 1.51 because of which at times you have to move aside to let them pass because they are driving at a higher speed. So you have to be cautious of other drivers and be careful and mindful of your surroundings. As I mentioned, all the drivers had to do the third stint considering the record distance to be covered in 24 hours. And yes, we did set a record by covering 4357.12 km in the 1 litre Virtus, which is the maximum distance covered by a sedan in the 1 litre category. There are other records too, like the national record for the maximum distance covered in 24 hours with the Volkswagen Virtus GT covering 4654.48 km. It also set the record for the maximum distance covered by a sedan in 24 hours. The Volkswagen Tiger 1 litre set the national record for the maximum distance covered in 24 hours by an SUV. 
covering 4,423.82 kilometers. Meanwhile, the other Tigan 1 liter automatic set the national record for the best fuel efficiency in 24 hours for a turbo petrol engine by returning 29.8 kilometers per liter. The experience has been phenomenal. Initially, I thought I'll get bored. It's the same car on the same track being driven at the same speeds. But trust me, there's a lot more than that. This track is super smooth. There are no undulations at all. And this car is super stable. Even at 200 km per hour, you really don't feel that you are driving so fast. I'm so impressed by the Virtus. Amazing engine, especially this 1 litre TSI really blows your mind. You never would imagine that a 3 cylinder engine can do those speeds and do it very comfortably. And of course, this track is also very impressive. If given a chance, I can do this all day, every day. After the finish, we had the cars to ourselves for some time, which meant it was time to do some top speed runs. And now is the time to give it the beans. First gear and off we go. Crazy wheel spin. Into second. Oh my God, it wheel spins on upshift as well. And now we are into third gear. So this is the one liter TSI, which honestly has not surprised me. It has shocked me with the level of performance because I never expected it to be this fast. It is blisteringly quick for a one liter engine. It's a three cylinder unit. Doesn't feel like one because it's extremely smooth. Very, very, very refined as well and it punches way above its weight. Firstly, this car produces 115 horsepower and 178 Newton meters of torque, yet it can hold insane speeds. Right now we are doing 180 kilometers per hour. I will come into fifth gear right now and look at the level of stability. It remains glued to the road, extremely amazing high speed stability and stellar performance. This TSI motor is just something else, trust me on this. And it's also quite efficient, which is amazing. Now we are doing 196 km per hour. I'm going to come into 6 gear right away. The gearbox is smooth shifting. The clutch is also on the lighter side and it pulls and it pulls and how? Because of this, I was able to maintain really high speeds when I was doing the 24 hour endurance race customs. And right now we are doing 201 km per hour. Can you believe it? This is actually a 1 liter engine and it is so efficient and it is also very fast. It's so quick. What a top speed, 202 km per Per hour so i managed to do 204 kilometers per hour when wind was on my side 204 kilometers per hour for a one liter engine is absolutely phenomenal trust me this guy is actually restricted to 203 kilometers per hour so the real world top speed happens to be 195 kilometers per hour but still that is absolutely fast quite amazing what an engine supremely impressive i really like it and this car is obviously very durable extremely safe and what performance yaar amazing Amazing roads, amazing event and amazing cars as well. I had an absolute blast driving the Volkswagen Virtus which offers thrilling performance, great handling and 5 star safety as well. This is a very fun to drive car. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, that's the like button and also subscribe to the channel. I will see you guys in the next video real soon. Bye bye.